Hey guys, this is Surup RJ. Welcome back to Linux in 11 minutes. This is our ninth video. In the last video, we have started discussing about some basic stuffs which you need for cell scripting, like the variables, the arithmetics, and the wild cards. Today, we'll complete the basic section use, uh, uh, by discussing the pipes and the IO redirection and the process. Let's get on with. If you want to execute more than one commands in one line this is very just uh, write all those commands uh, giving the semicolon in between okay let's see okay if you want to execute ls then okay let me first execute ls minus l so the screen is full if you want to clear the skin first let's say clear then i want to do ls then i want to do pwd just take everything uh, keeping uh, using this semicolon in between so it will clear the screen it will then pr uh, print the ls then the directory okay so the next is input output redirection so well, I have already told you some of these things, uh, so but I wanted you to remind me everything. You know, if you want to write uh, the output of a command into the file, just type the command, then this operator, the greater than sign, then the file name. If you want to append, means write in the end of the file, just give two greater than sign. If you want to read from the file, just give one less than sign, less than sign. Let me show you. Okay, so. I'll do the command is ls minus l. I come. Uh, I write this command, and if I want to write the output of this command into a file, let's say file name list. Okay. Enter. Uh, okay. Let's see whether the file exists. See, there is a file name list exists. Let's read the contents of the file using cat command. See, this is the output of the ls minus l command is here only okay let's clear the screen if you want to write something like uh, like if you want to write the pwd if you want to write these things uh, after the L, uh, in append the append these things in the list file just type pwd then two greater than sign and the file name is list now you can read the file get list see we have appended this thing at the end of the list okay let's clear the screen then the next thing is how to read from the file if you want to read from the file uh, like i want to read from the file and i'll do something i want to, let's i want let's sort this thing sort the file read from the file the file name is list then sort is command is sort then read from the file this of less than symbol then the list I want to see I've read this thing then I have sorted this thing okay the last one let's clear this screen the last one is pipe I want to show you see we have uh, made use of this pipe also but I want to tell you again so what it does is it connect the output of one command or the program to the input of another program without using any intermediate files ok so you can think of as a temporary storage which stores the output of one command then give uh, give it to the another command as a input the, com uh, the for syntax is simple command 1 then this symbol then the command 2 so let me show you So, uh, you know, when we type who, these are the users, and we, um, if we want to use pipe, type who, then, so this will, who will print the user, then it will give, pipe will take the output of the who, and it will give input to sort, and sort will sort the user, see. Okay, so other you can do is like ls list it will list the file, 
then you just using grape you search for Abhijit or you search for user see these are the output so this was all about pipe then let's clear this thing the last thing remaining is process which is simple I'll tell you so process are like the program which are currently running the instance of a program or the commands you know when we execute some command it creates a process like I type ls it's executing then it's a process okay so the first thing is uh, if I want to see the currently running process okay which process are currently running the command is simple ps okay this four process are currently running the first column is pid when we create a process uh, when we create a process in linux uh, it automatically returns a id which is unique so this bash process has 2071 as is pid process id then top process is 2145 then the PSS 2801 which we have executed now if you want to know all the information about all the running process the command is PS minus AG PS space minus AG see see these are the, all this information about the process let me go quickly over this if you want to know the owner of the process along with the process the command is ps then the aux see the owner and all the information about the process let's clear this thing okay so if you want to check whether a particular process is running or not uh, we'll make use of pipe like we'll list the file list the process then we'll give it as input to another process using pipe so type grep type whether bash is running or not see these are the process and bash which are running if you want to see the running processes with other information like memory and cpu uses this actually give the real time information this is the very useful command just type top it will give the all use uh, real time information about your memory usage and cpu usage and which processors are running okay like the task manager in windows so these are all the processes which are running now see these are the real time updates type q to exit then the clear the screen the if you want to uh, display the tree of processes running in your system the command is ps tree just type p s t r e c these are the tree of system tree of processes which are running which is start with init then the network manager all those things you can check it out okay let's clear this one and then if you want to run some let me list uh, if I list all the files in the system it will take much time and if I do something like let me uh, do a small thing uh, g g edit then the, let me create a file like class see i am doing something writing something if i if minimize this now i won't have access to the terminal because a process is running like g edit is running but we know Linux is a multi-user and multitasking system. So what we can do is we can run many processes in background. The command is simple. When you write uh, the thing is uh, command is simple. Uh, after the command, give a space then a ampersand sign. Okay. Con with the control C you can always get back. So when I'm uh, opening an editor, just give a ampersand symbol. Then C still we are doing work here in the background but we still have access to this terminal so like this you can run everything in the uh, background uh, process in the background then the next thing is how to stop or kill a process using 
process id okay the command is simple the command is kill then the process id you can kill a process by its name also the command is kill all then the process name you can kill all the process except the shell using kill space zero okay let us list all the process command is ps okay so these are all the processes running we have now created this g edit so if you want to kill g edit the uh, the p we can use the pid of the g edit program which is 2821 so the command is simple kil then the pid is 2821 see the from the launcher it has terminated we can see using ps also see g edit is terminated okay again let's run the g edit minimize it if you want to kill g edit by the name kill all then the name g edit say it's terminated and let's zoom again So if I want to kill all the process except the shell, the command is kill zero. That's it from me guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.